Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming out this morning. How's everyone doing? We're going to start with a word of prayer. My name is Rabbi Brant Rosen. I'm the rabbi at Tzedek Chicago. I'm the Midwest Regional Director for the American Friends Service Committee. I'm a proud member of Jewish Voice for Peace. And I'm a proud member of this amazing interfaith clergy family that stands behind me. According to my spiritual tradition, today is Shabbat, the Jewish Sabbath. And among other things on Shabbat, we are asked to create the world to come. We are asked to build for one another the world we are struggling for, the world we want to see. And that's what we are doing here together this morning. I'd like to open with a word of prayer. This is a new version of a Jewish Sabbath prayer, Shalom Aleichem, that is traditionally sung on the eve of Shabbat. Shalom Aleichem, peace to you, angels of the Most High. Watch over those who find no rest, forced from their homes, forced to leave everything they've ever known, everyone they've ever loved, because poverty gripped their communities, because the military occupied their land, because agribusiness seized their farms, because the mining companies poisoned their soil, because the multinationals polluted their water, because they couldn't leave their houses for fear of gangs who walk the streets day and night. O oh, angels who come from a place beyond all borders, sovereign beyond all sovereigns, please watch over them as they make their way. This is our prayer. Let's say amen. Amen. Shalom Aleichem, peace to you, angels of the Most High. Watch over the young woman, eight months pregnant, who begged her family for $5,000 after her house was burned to the ground by the militia, who crossed nine borders in two months, from Cameroon to Nigeria to Ecuador, and then by bus and by foot through Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, and finally to Tapachula, Mexico. Now she's sitting on a concrete bench, cradling her swollen belly, wondering what will happen when she gets to Tijuana. Will she be detained? Will she be allowed to cross? Will she be granted asylum? Will she be sent back to face the death squads? Oh, angels who come from a place beyond all borders, sovereign beyond all sovereigns, please watch over her as she makes her way. This is our prayer. Let's say amen. Amen. Shalom Aleichem, peace to you, angels of the Most High. Watch over the parents whose children are ripped crying from their arms just as they arrive at the border who have no idea where their babies have been taken, who are told, not told, where they are or how they can reach them. Watch over the children who are left to fend for themselves, some too young to speak, without a guardian who knows them, without an adult who understands them, forced into backlogged courts, forced to sit in cold, crowded holding cells for days, with no beds or showers, where they can only wait and hope and pray that someone will somehow find them, Oh, angels who come from a place beyond all borders, sovereign beyond all sovereigns, please don't let them be forgotten. This is our prayer. Let's say amen. Amen. Shalom Aleichem, peace to you, angels of the Most High. Watch over those who live in constant fear that those flashing police lights are meant for them, who wake up each day wondering, is this the day my children will be gone when I return? Is this the day I won't return home to my children? Is this the day they'll be snatched from the streets, from the cars, from their workplaces? Is this the day they'll be shackled and thrown into unmarked vans, sent into detention cells, onto airplanes, and sent off into the night for the crime of seeking a life of dignity for their families? Oh, angels who come beyond from a place beyond all borders, sovereign beyond all sovereigns, please watch over them. This is our prayer. Let's say amen. Amen. Shalom Aleichem to you, angels of justice, angels of the Most High. Show us how to fight for the liberation of anyone who was forced from their homes, pursued, taken, locked away, sent away, anyone whose lives are forbidden, forgotten, forsaken, Inspire us to take down oppressive systems that were built by the powerful to maintain the power of the powerful. Remind us that there is a power yet greater than them that comes from a place that no